Prophet Ayodele speaks on possibility of Nigerians buying fuel far lower than 990 naira per liter. Amid the high price of fuel, Prophet Elijah Babatunde Ayodele said the situation is causing more hardship for millions already struggling with the cost of living crisis in Nigeria. Legit.ng reports that petrol is widely used to power generators for household and small businesses and the current price is weighing heavily on the already ailing economy. In the new video, Primate Aidele lamented that the price of petroleum would remain frustrating, citing the situation as the reason for the establishment of new refineries. The spiritual head of the INRI Evangelical Church, Primate Elijah Aidele, has insinuated the price of premium motor spirit, PMS, otherwise known as petrol, cannot drop to either 500 or 600 naira per liter. In a video on Tuesday, August 13, shared on his non X, formerly known as Twitter handle, Aidele said the petrol price would be frustrating under President Tunumbu. He said, and I quote, I see some banks that are still going to have crisis, but I'm not seeing the price of food items coming down totally. I am not seeing dollar to 600 or 500 naira, and the price of a petroleum will still be frustrating, and that is why a lot of refineries are coming, are coming. So a lot is going to happen in Tirumbu's government. Okay. Reacting to the petrol price hike, Joe Ajeru, president of the Nigeria Labour Congress, NFC, see Nigerians as being deceived on the issue of petrol pricing. He accused the petrol administration of toying with Nigerians and the Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited. At the start of the current week, petrol prices shot up to an all-time high of 919 in Abuja and as high as 1,200 liters in far-flung cities up north. Ayodele wants to know. The predicted gang up by the north, according to Premise Ayodele, the predicted gang up by the north, according to Premise Ayodele, will not will make it difficult for President Tunumbu to win a second term in office. Diana Sabio, me are not even... I keep saying, it says people who give this man relevance, people who come outside and push out what he says, the media houses, people don't have anything better to report. You don't have... I want to believe their news that are much more worthy for people to see rather than this. It's becoming very annoying. And the thing is, as this man is going, gaining traction, gaining audience, people are commenting on his post. People are coming out to do ridiculous, to say ridiculous things, thinking, okay, this person is doing it, he's gaining him traction, people are commenting on his post. Yeah, I can do mine. Sincerely. Because you know, I don't get, I, I can't under, I will never be able to understand it. That's very cheap. Let it be 5,000 every liter. Now don't type. Now don't start. That is not a prophecy at all. He didn't say it is too. Let me go back to what he said. He said um, the situation is causing more hardship. Da 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 yeah, yeah. He said petrol is rarely used to power generators. Da 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 yeah. He lamented that you remain frustrating. Citing the situation as the reason for the establishment. He did not say it's a prophecy. And that is why I would say this one is what I can, I want. As in, it's better. That you're a cleric, you're an imam, or you're a cleric, Christian, Muslim, or whatever religion you practice. Does not, you know, does not alienate you to the sufferings of the people. In fact, you're supposed to use that your office to come outside and tell the government, that, government rather, that see you, you know, this one that you do, you know, follow. They're a very good example of Bishop Kuka, the bishop of um, Sokoto. He comes out and he makes, he comes out and he gives his opinions on things. It's better. You come outside and, oh, this, 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 you know, this is my opinion on this one. The government, do you want to know the government, not do this one well? You know, they, okay, you come outside, give your, hit your point. You don't need to come outside and, you know, it's all about prophecy. Oh, the Lord ministered to me. I, I fell into a trance or I saw a vision. Come on, come on, come on. Huh? Our problems are not just about all this individual. We are shouting dollar and fuel. If this to come down, do we think that anything can come down? I said government intervention. Nigerians are wicked and selfish. Dollar can come down, yet everything stays up. Even make fuel come down to one hundred naira. If government no put action by selling where we by selling, if government no put action. 
people selling will stay where they are. They'll be hearing is the ones we had before. It came down. Now we the wicked as if because some they make money from it. Now let me tell us from this. Let me tell us. Yes, I was going to get to this, and we all know this is the truth. Okay. In as much as we keep calling, uh, what's it called? The government. Oh, the government. Oh, the federal government. Oh, the presidency. Oh, the state government. Oh, the wicked. Oh, the ministers. Oh, the House of Rest members. The National Assembly member. The senators and that that that. Do you know we Nigerians were very cruel to us? So that is why I told us it is until we ourselves, we start being kind. It is going to start from everybody has a part to play. And I've said it before that it is until we start playing our part that this country will start being better. I don't mean one person. Everybody, the government will play their own part. Those in authorities will play their own part. We, the electorate, will play our own part. Because what this person says is valid. Okay. That is why that was, if we we'll come down now, you could see said more people go there for road. Why? Because they will refuse to enter the former old price. Kilo, if you enter more, they go there. Kilo, they can. Chef, I see learning. I beg you, if you know the guy, and I don't go, go. You understand? The thing is, even people in, but the thing is, even not everybody go few fights. Not everybody go few stand for road. Imagine maybe, maybe you you you're. you're Getting off of work and you you're using the public transport and you want you know because people don't come down with and reduce money for you go stay for road my dear brother and sister, especially you know if you leave for place you be saying nobody send you papa, <laughs> so nobody send you you do waiting, you go you won't go your house and so you have to pay, yeah this is also one of the reasons why we we are not kind to ourselves we are not kind to ourselves and it is not good, it's it's something that is not okay. You know the okay at all. You know the okay. I even see the possibility of you marrying three wives. Uh uh. We need another pre I don't understand. Political prophet just tell you better to give you to give you office in the villa special advisor. Tunibu should do something and this prophet should be praying for Nigeria instead of coming up with negative prophecies like this. The old testament prophets who prophesy will not and not prof okay. The negative prophecies, like the Old Testament prophets who prophesied and not profess solution to it. If you have seen anything, it's shown you that it's shown to you that you can pray either to reverse it or for it not to happen at all. You are not the only prophet in the land. Others are saying more than you. Are you the Are you the give these people relevance? I tell you, hmm? Nigeria showing its might on national international politics. He was sent to make that happen long ago. All right, on this note, we have come to the end of the news. So thank you for tuning in to listen until I come your way next time. Enjoy the rest of your day.